Hey hackers, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, today I want to show you guys my uh, my new rice. Uh, I guess my new rice. It's a uh, my new desktop uh, configuration, if you will. Um, so I'll kind of just jump right into it right right now. I am on Linux Mint. You guys know I'm quite the distro hopper. So, um, but Linux Mint is one I've been enjoying pretty consistently for for a few months. Uh, unless you're on the Discord server, then uh, if you know, you know. Uh, but regardless, um, yeah, uh, Linux Mint is the current operating system. I enjoyed a lot. Um, I really like the, uh, how stable it is, first of all, but also the customization options that comes, uh, with it. Um, I am, what else am I using? I3 window manager is my window manager. So it's Italian window manager. So I can do like this, right? You guys can see if I, uh, open out something else, maybe like the files or something. You guys can see right I have uh tiling window manager, so that's that's basically um kind of cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of just go through it and show you guys my current workflow. If you guys like it, maybe you guys can take inspiration from it. Um, I do have my dump files somewhere. Let me see if I can uh pull them up for y'all. Okay, so these are my dot files. So if you guys want to copy any of my configurations. Uh, from today's video, you guys totally can. I guess we can uh, keep on going. I'll kind of give you guys a big uh, or a better understanding of the monitor setup. So right now I have three monitors. I have a uh, monitor on the left, a monitor on the right, and then my laptop in between the two. Um, so the laptop is, it's a really nice laptop. I mean, I've been enjoying this laptop. I've been, I have used a laptop for the entirety of the YouTube career, if you will. Um, so don't think you guys need some crazy big desktop or anything like that. Um, but it's uh, 1920 by 1200 pixels, which is why the, um, why there's this black bar. You guys, you, hold on, let me see if I can, can I put my mouse over it? There you go. So yeah, you guys see this black bar right here. Um, this black bar is because of the resolution of my laptop, if that makes sense. So that way you guys can watch it on your phones. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, this is the monitor setup. Uh, the left one is a little bit more for fun. This one on the right is for Workspace 7, which just has OBS. So I'm not going to be showing that one uh, through the video because there's only OBS on it. I don't think there's anything interesting worth noting um, on there. Anyway, uh, let's just kind of run through the workspaces. And as we go through them, I'll kind of bring up anything uh, worth noting. So on the far left monitor, this is Workspace 1. It has this little house icon. Um, and this is literally just for Discord or Minecraft or whatever. Um, obviously, first of all, join the Discord server if you guys aren't on the Discord server already. Uh, but second of all, yeah, I mean, this is just a, a cool, uh, this is monitors really just for fun. Like if I'm watching videos or anything like that, um, that's really just Workspace One. Um, the main, main one I look at the most is, you know, works, is the is the middle monitor because it's right in front of me. But uh, there's some... Um, some pretty interesting things on here. I'll kind of just go up the ranks. So Workspace 2 is the browser. Um, Workspace 2 actually used to be my terminal, but I switched it. I switched up a lot of the workspaces. Um, but yeah, Workspace 2 is now my browser. And it, it, it's in a better order. It's just it's going to take some time to reaccustom to the different workspaces. Anyway, um, yeah, Workspace 2 is the browser. So I can uh, watch and play or whatever the heck I want to do. Um, what any, something cool with the browser I'm using. So I'm, first of all, I'm using Vivaldi, Vivaldi and Vivaldi is a really cool, uh, browser that it's kind of like I three in a browser, if you will. It's kind of cool. You can have like, like tiled windows. Like if I open this and I open up like Cosmodium CS, I can go back here and I can open both of them in one, uh, bra in one, like one window, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also do like a horizontal view if you want, um, or you can just get rid of them. Um, but yeah, it, it's a it's a pretty cool browser, and there's also some uh, functionality on the side. Like I can have ChatGPT here on one window, so I don't have to like switch between tabs and stuff. Um, and you can have like RSS feeds in here if you want. It's, it's, it's a pretty crazy uh, browser. It's kind of bloated. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bloated. Um, but I mean, my computer can handle it, so it's, it's not too much of a problem for me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a cool browser. You guys can definitely check it out. Matsi, shout out to Matsi. He showed me the browser. I think he's going by weird now. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, Matsi, he's the chief operations officer. He's a really cool guy, or I guess weird is his new name, whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, let's keep going. Uh, 
tab three or workspace three is the terminal. So um, again, you guys have seen this terminal multiple times. I updated it a little bit. Um, I have like what you'll kind of see in like Parrot or um, like a different operating system because I'm on Mint, but I used to use Parrot for a hot minute. Um, so I wanted to get one of these uh, back on here. Um, one quick thing, actually real quick, sorry, um, I'm kind of just going back and forth. We're kind of just hanging out here. Um, Vivaldi is a really great uh, browser. The one thing I don't like about it is the syncing is okay. The it will sync your bookmarks and uh, some of the other things, but your configurations don't get synced. So you'll have to like export it and like uh, reconfigure it, which is kind of weird. Um, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's it, that's it. I just wanted to bring that up to you for the, you know, in case you guys are looking to use a browser. I mean, if you're just using it on one computer, then you're fine. Um, but if you're using it on multiple computers, you're gonna have to reconfigure any of your custom key bindings and other things. So those, those don't sync as, as of right now, at least as of recording this. Um, but that's literally the only thing I don't like about the browser. It's, a, it's an amazing browser regardless. Anyway, back to the terminal. Um, I'll kind of explain a little bit more about what I have going on, right? Because right here it says I'm using Bash, but I'm actually not using Bash. I'm using um, the conch shell. So um, it's basically a shell that you could run normal uh, commands in from your shell. But you also have Python, so you can print, uh, oops, you want to print high, for example, right? Uh, so you can run Python in here and you can like import random, right? You guys get the idea. Um, so this makes it really powerful because like if I go on my um, conch file, right? You guys can have like, you guys see I already have a few imports in here and I have like a bunch of like functions in here and like, um, yeah, a bunch of really cool things that you guys can have. And then like, this is how you set up um, your aliases. So you guys just have the alias and then uh, the alias name colon and then the alias you want to save. Um, saving your path variable is also pretty nice too because you can just do it like this. Um, you guys get the idea. So yeah, this is a pretty cool, um, I guess, resource to have um, if you guys want to uh, do that. I actually don't need uh, this path anymore. I'm going to delete that while I'm here. Anyway, um, yeah, just to kind of want to point that out to you guys. So if you guys want to use the console, you guys totally can. I like it a lot. I think it's a really, really cool uh, terminal environment. Um, past that, there's not too, too much going on with the terminal. Um, yeah, I'm using Terminator. If you guys wanted to know what terminal I'm using, I'm using Terminator. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. Um, going on to Workspace 4. Workspace 4 is a development uh, workspace. So it's it's basically this, and just another terminal uh, workspace, but it's for more specifically, like if I'm coding something, right? If I go into like dev, let's go into, actually, let's go into mail, uh, cd into like only rat, for example, right? And we'll just vim the main.py, right? So if I'm doing like a big project and I need to switch between uh, running and editing, I can do that really quickly. Um, my Also, my new vim is really nice. It's um, inspired off of uh, the primogens. Um, I think it's like his little config, um, but I, I did a lot of cool configurations to make mine really special. Um, I changed a lot of the key buttons too. So if I wanted to, um, here I can add this file. Like in Harpoon, I have different key bindings to make it a little bit easier for me to access um, different files. Like maybe if let's go on webhook.png for whatever reason um, and add this to our list. So. Um, I can switch between them really quickly if I need to. So if I'm switching between two files, I can do that really well. And you can see at the LSP, um, a bunch of other cool stuff. But regardless, um, it is a really cool uh, setup for a new event. And again, that's on the, the dot .files repository. So if you guys want to copy my configurations for anything I have here, uh, feel free to do so. One thing is if you're going to copy my Terminator config, make sure you have conch installed because it's going to try to auto start it. And if it can't auto start it, then Terminator is going to close. So if you're running like Arch and you only have one terminal on your system, make sure you install Conch before using the Terminator config. Um, anyway, um, Workspace 5 is a one for my, well, notes, if that makes sense. Um, I'll just open up like calculus something. Let's do this one. Um, we'll zoom in a little bit. And uh, I'll open up the side panels again. There you go. Um, 
um, but yeah, so this is basically what my uh, workspace will look like. Yeah, I'm just taking notes, Obsidian. Um, it's a pretty cool note-taking app. Actually, if you guys want to use the theme that I am using, um, I have my own Obsidian theme on the uh, Obsidian store. If you guys go on to uh, Obsidian, search up Protocol Blue. Oh, 620 downloads. That's awesome. Um, Protocol Blue is created by me, Blue Cosmo. <laughs> Um, and you guys can use the theme if you guys want to. It's a really nice theme. I spent uh, quite some time trying to uh, get it uploaded and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure to, uh, I don't know, install it, try it out, see if you guys like it. Um, but yeah, that's the theme that I'm using on my system. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely suggest you guys check it out. And just the app overall. It's an amazing, amazing app. Actually, I'll show you guys my graph because I feel like you guys are going to get mad if I don't show it. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, my current graph. I have 495 notes. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, that this is this is my uh, my graph. I feel like people wanted to see that. I feel like people would be mad if I didn't show it. So, um, what's next? Workspace six. Um, this is just for files, honestly. So um, if I'm just, uh, I mean, there's I have like an actual file explorer like Nemo. Um, but I've been getting into Ranger as well. And Ranger is a pretty cool one uh, to use. So yeah, you can you can use this one too if you want to. Um, but yeah, again, um, there's nothing like too crazy going on. I can go and like here, I can like you know look at code and stuff. I need to change that color. I hate those colors. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys get the idea. It's a pretty cool uh, file explorer as well. Um, but yeah, it's just the reason I have that there is because Workspace Seven is on my right monitor. And this right monitor is using um, like OBS or GIMP or stuff like that. Um, just like image related stuff. Some Spotify I'll have on here as well. Um, just like image media regarding types of things. That's what's on my right monitor. I'm not going to show it right now because obviously I'm recording with OBS. But um, over onto Workspace 8. Excuse me. Workspace 8. So, uh. Workspace 8 is just for virtual machine management, server management, stuff like that. You can see I have my Qemu uh, instance set up here. And then Workspace 9 and 10 are just the actual virtual machines where I can go on Remnux here. I think I can go on, uh, uh, what's that, Flare VM here. You guys can see um, I just have workspaces dedicated to those machines. So that way, if I'm doing malware analysis, I can quickly and easily um, have my Windows machine right here, as if I would never even. This is not Flare. This is my uh, my malware development virtual machine. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, either way, um, this is where I would have it anyway. So, um, but yeah. So, and uh, literally all of the malware development videos you have seen on the channel, I'm in this virtual machine right here, over on Workspace 10, and then Workspace 9. This little Linux machine. You guys can see the little Penguin and Windows logo. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, there's nothing too crazy going on past that. I mean, I have some like uh, custom fonts and some other things, but those are all in the dot files. So if you guys want to uh, take inspo from that, you guys totally can. Uh, but that's about it. Is just wanted to show you guys the new desktop. Hopefully it's something that is more appealing to you guys. Uh, something like, actually real quick, I um, almost forgot. Uh, I have it so my poly bar um, is so my whole system is meant to be a little bit more dynamic. So let me set the wallpaper to like a lab 401 wallpaper, right? Um, again, that script is part of my uh, conch shell. Um, but yeah, so now when I use a lab 401 wallpaper instead of like my default one, um, you'll notice that the poly bar has these little um, bubbles around it. So that way you can still use other wallpapers and have it look really good. You know, it's not like weird or um, doesn't work. Also, I do have transparency, so you can see the lab 401 go through there, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, that's about it, actually. Yeah, so um, that's one last thing I just wanted to throw out there. But now, officially, um, that's about it. <laughs> uh, so I will catch you guys. Hopefully, this is something you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Happy hacking.